All right, folks, we're back, wine drinking people. And uh, these are two wines that I've been meaning to review for the last week or so. I've tasted these wines a couple of times. This is a new project from Ferrari Carano Winery from Sonoma. We sell a lot of Ferrari Carano wines, man. Let me tell you, this is a winery that is on a serious roll. Great stuff. And uh, these two new wines really meant to be the marquee stuff coming from this winery. We've had their Tresor in for years, which is a big Bordeaux-style blend from Alexander Valley, having all five of the Bordeaux varietals. But uh, this West Face wine, uh, coming from uh, a vineyard uh, grown up on the steep slopes of Lookout Mountain, which sits on the junction of Alexander Valley, Knights Valley, and the Chalk Hill Appalachians. And uh, just 2.7 tons per acre. One of the things you get with mountain fruit is bigger wines and lower concentration. So you notice the minerality in this wine. Uh, the 2005 vintage, they still have a little bit of half bottles left. And this wine is showing really nice. This is a Syrah and Cabernet blend. And Syrah kind of creeping its way in there with a lot of Cabernet Sauvignons today. Kind of rounds out the, uh, the palate on the wine. Makes it a little more approachable young. And this wine had some lovely smooth red currant and dark plum cocoa fruit. A little cigar box spice. Very Bordeaux-like on the nose. And uh, hey, that's something they did in Bordeaux around the turn of the 19th, 20th century also. Was add Syrah from the Northern Rhone into their Bordeaux varietals in an off vintage. So uh, this wine had lovely smooth red berry fruit on the tongue, currants, uh, smooth silky tannin, and a nice freshness and milk chocolatey note on the finish. That's a 2005 in half bottles. And then the full bottles, the 2006, well this wine it was a little bit bigger as you would expect. Half bottles usually age a little faster. Some lovely black plum cassis berry fruit on the nose with hints of kind of mushrooms and dark chocolate, toasty oats, oak spice, sweet tobacco, a lovely fresh plowed earth character to this too. Smooth and polished on the palate with ripe round tannins and a touch of lovely spiced oak. Really nicely balanced acidity through the finish. All right, well, the uh, Prevail Back 40 uh, is the other wine that they make. And the Back 40 here is a uh, Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. So no Syrah in with this one. And this is, uh, this is grapes from their... 1100 foot elevation vineyard on the back side of Ferrari Carano's Rock Rise Mountain in Alexander Valley. And uh, this wine, only 1.5 tons per acre. And that's something you get naturally, as I mentioned before, from that higher elevation, thus for creating a lot more concentrated wine. This wine was a bit of a shy flower here on the nose. And even on the palate, had some lovely red berry and cassis berry fruit with a nice hand of fresh herbs and earth nuance, a little dark cocoa and toasty oak spice. Big and chewy on the tongue with layers of dark spice, firm tannins, and uh, well, like I said, maybe a little bit shy, a little bit of heat showing up on the finish, but a little bit too much fruit for the alcohol. I don't know, but let me tell you, this wine was much better with a little aged white cheddar cheese, man. Once I busted out the cheese, the cheddar, and the Emmentaler, the Emmentaler being better with the Syrah-based wine, the cheddar being better with this Cabernet, but both of them kind of brought out the fruit, really smoothed out these wines, and just made them a little fuller and richer on the palate. But uh, hey, wine is meant to have with food, and it's one of those things when you find the right food for the right wine, it can be magical. And this wine did open up a little bit as it uh, continued to breathe, but much better with the food than all by itself. All right, those are our two new wines from Ferrari Carano, the Prevail, Back 40, and West Face. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.